Well, a very, very good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Daily Flying Briefing for Tuesday, the 28th of July. So what have we got? Well, the nastiness of those fronts has now uh, gone away. Um, we're still under the influence of low pressure to our north, uh, but high pressure is starting to build in from the southwest, and we'll start to settle things down a little bit, potentially a little bit too much later in the week. But um, that's starting to introduce a northwesterly flow now rather than the southwesterly flow that we'd seen uh, earlier in the week. Um, and fronts are beginning to clear, but there's still a lot of lingering moisture, which is going to cause us a bit of a headache at times of the day. At the moment, um, we are looking for sort of west northwesterly winds, still a bit breezy, not as breezy as they was yesterday. We didn't actually at all attempt to fly yesterday because it was 40 knots of flying heights. But surface winds today will be looking somewhere in the region about 10 to 15 knots uh, from the west northwest. But our flying heights are generally 20 knots across most of the task area, maybe a bit stronger as you go north towards the low pressure system. And uh, looking at the rain uh, the odd potential chance of an isolated shower perhaps but uh, most of that is drying out as the high pressure builds so not expecting too much in the way of issues with rain today what we do might have an issue with though is i can see very clearly there is wave suppression going on again uh, our old uh, arch nemesis um, so worth keeping an eye on that uh, that may enhance or spoil thermals depending on how that links up with the wave system but uh, yes we've been caught out by this before so keep an eye out for that other than that uh, so as I said lingering moisture all around us as such uh, the sun is getting to the ground and we will see convection starting shortly but uh, yeah there is a lot of uh, moisture left over from the last couple of days the infrared uh, the frontal clouds mostly cleared out of the way. There is a little bit of top cover higher up, but uh, nothing uh, particularly significant. And the public forecast is showing uh, sort of westerly, west northwesterly winds and just sort of sunny intervals all day. Top temperature of 18. Does that link up with what the GFS says? Pretty much. Uh, 19s maybe along the coast, maybe a little bit more sunshine down there. Dew points are much better than yesterday. We should get to single figures around here, allowing for a reasonable temperature dew point split. At the moment, we have a temperature of 15 and a dew point of 10. And uh, David had, uh, was sort of saying that there would be some sort of low shrinky kilometers to start, which there is. And yeah, looking at about 16 degrees, giving bases to 3000 feet about 11 a.m., but yeah, Lingering cumulus, I don't think there's any mention of the wave suppression in there, but I reckon it will be in there somewhere. Um, I just uh, err on the side of caution with that because a few people have been caught out. And hopefully we won't get too much of a sea breeze uh, coming in too far uh, with that, so maybe some nice convergence lines perhaps. Okay, and as you can see later into the week, it does get warm, but we might get a bit more stable, which would be a bit disappointing. Uh, at the moment at Farnborough we have a uh, temperature 16 dew point of 11 as well and they're not seeing the cloud that we can see but clearly we're going to see more cloud during the day a few clouds 3,000 feet they're predicting okay the potential flight distance is that so good but breezy um, south coast and into uh, Wiltshire looking reasonable shame that the center of that looks like it's in the middle of the Boscombe danger area uh, if we start at 10 o'clock above here, we'll have probably just about two, two and a half thousand foot above site cumulus. Uh, by lunchtime, uh, one, two o'clock, we should see cloud base above here of four to four and a half thousand feet. And for most of the day, that's what it sort of sticks around at, maybe blowing out a bit into Dorset and out into the West Country. Uh, but good up towards um, Fairford, down towards um at that, uh, down towards goodwood etc uh, in that direction and reasonably good fair uh, north as well but obviously take into account that headwind from the northwest uh, this one limitation of top meteor will not show the wave suppression but uh, clearly something's going to be coming off the mountains there cloud amounts generally through the day sometimes getting a little bit too much uh, but then hopefully thinning out again so it'll probably cycle uh, through the day uh, through so you might find periods where it's uh, tricky around here and then we'll improve later 
by let's have a look at sort of home time still reasonable sorry um near us uh, so probably we're going to be one of the last areas to see the thermals drop off out until west country drops off earlier probably uh, yeah yeah we yeah, coming off the uh, bristol channel okay site forecast is that reasonable thermals as i'm saying up to probably a, a max height of we might see five thousand feet above sea level but i think uh, more four and a half thousand feet just a reminder if you are going to uh, drop into the class e make sure you're not uh breaking the vmc minima and yep yeah, reasonably good day compared to yesterday <laughs> okay right soundings buckingham sort of uh showing this is one o'clock five thousand feet above site reasonable with cumulus strong inversion though so just be aware it may spread out lark hill a little bit more cloud temperature degree lower so uh looking more like uh, 4,000 feet there, that's one o'clock. And Husband So, at one o'clock as well. Um, pretty good. And version a little bit weaker, but five and a half thousand feet. So, yeah, definitely not a bad place to go today. No TAMs, uh, all the usual Boscombe danger areas are active, Solent active all day, uh, though they are friendly and will give a clearance if you ask nicely. Fairford active all day, Little Risington. They've reissued their NOTAM. Cone from surface to 3,000 feet to 3 nautical miles. 3,000 to 6,000 feet, 6 nautical miles. 6,000 to 9,000 feet, 9 nautical miles. So, yeah, um, we're not going to go above 9,000 feet. Um, have a chat to Bo uh, Bry's radar if you're going that close to there. Uh, they might be able to give you a bit more of an idea of what's going on there. We also have that, that parachute zone, which was at sort of uh, Buckingham. I think they've got a little bit more precise of where they are because there's a no time here again for them. Um, potentially a bit breezy for them. I've not been able to get contact with them yet because they don't normally know when they're parachuting till half nine. Um, again, uh, they do have a frequency 130530. And if you just, uh, it was Libra drop zone, it might be um, Marsh Gibbon drop zone now or something like that. So phone numbers there, they always pick up, or if you want to drop them a text. Uh, if you are going that direction. Um, Oxford radar might be able to help as well. I'm not really sure who the controlling authority is for this because obviously they're climbing into the T TMA to do a lot of this stuff. But uh, yeah, you do have parachuting there. Uh, flare firing at Longmore. I'll just double check. Yep, yeah, that's within the... Um, uh, within the no, the sort of charted danger area so yeah uh, don't go below 1700 feet speak to Farnborough if you need a hand because uh, they manage that one uh, and eight I guess we uh, oh intense gliding activity at uh, Ayers Field wow so, little gliding club doing uh, big stuff okay um uh, Cambridge is usually active. Okay, we are two seven today. Um, should be no issue with that. Uh, sort of, there's almost not enough of you to form a grid. I'm sure you'll prove me wrong shortly, and there'll be loads of you. Um, we can probably cope with you at the runway. Um, and uh, as, as I say, we if we can do that, um, two or three tugs today, and we'll make sure we're ready for tomorrow. I think unfortunately the forecast has deteriorated for tomorrow. A orange aeroplane from Luton, uh, I'll leave you to guess what that might be, is coming in at about one o'clock. Uh, so we will shut the launch point down for lunch uh, at whatever time that happens. So please be aware that if you are planning to get a launch, launch before or after. I won't necessarily be doing launches during that movement. Uh, other than that, uh, instructors, if you could make sure that you are filling out training records, uh, the the filing cabinet is not uh, sort of out of bounds. Uh, I still need training records to be completed, otherwise it doesn't look very good. Um, and as a restaurant and bar open as normal. I think that's all I've got to say for today. So we'll see you on the airfield. Hopefully uh, we don't see so much spread out of wave suppression, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.